Alright, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jedimins here, back with another video. Today's video is going to be a pixel editor tutorial, um, just making thumbnails for the poor hearted people that don't have Photoshop, they can use this free uh, online photo editor. Alright, so you're going to want to type up pixel.com and I'm going to be making a Fortnite thumbnail for this uh, my highest kill game yet video, it's uploaded March 29th. So it's quite a long time ago, one month and it doesn't have a thumbnail, so I'm going to type up pixel.com, I've already got it up here. Pardon me. Once you've done that, you're going to go create a new image and go on the presets tab and go movie 720p. So once you've done that, you're going <laughs> to click the transparent box. So once you're here, you probably want to download a screenshot for the background. So since I'm editing a Fortnite video, I have downloaded a <clears throat> free Fortnite 50 screenshots 4K image pack, whatever it was on YouTube. You can type it up on YouTube or Google, just type up. Fortnite 4K backgrounds or something, you know, screenshots, and it's just, I made a little folder here, it's got all of these screenshots that are 4K, so I'm going to use one of those, you want to go, once you've found the image, you want to go layer, open images layer, then you want to find it, Fortnite thumbnail backgrounds, I believe I'm using this one, Alright, so once you've got your image on here, it'll either be really tiny or really big like this, really zoomed in. What you want to do is go edit, uh, free transform. Alright, so you're going to want to hold shift when you click to move it around, otherwise it'll go like this. And that's ugly, so I'm just going to cancel that out. Make sure to hold shift when you are uh, edit, free transforming. Hold shift, left click, move it to where you want it to go, just fill in the whole canvas. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay, I made that way too small. Once you've done that, you want to select yes. And we want to find an image to make the thumbnail more appealing to people. So you want to type up FNBR. Um, it's a Fortnite cosmetics page website thingy. And you want to go cosmetics and PNG. Alright, so once you've done that. In this video here that I'm making the thumbnail for, you can see that... My character is uh, Mary Marauder, so I'm just going to use that as an example. There he is, so you want to find him. You can use these three different ones. I am probably going to use yeah the this one on the far right. Use whatever one you want uh, for whatever character. I think I've already downloaded it. So once you've downloaded that, you just want to go right click on it and just save image as. Name it whatever you want. Once you've downloaded it, open images layer and go to where you've saved it. Where have I saved it? All right, here it is. Go to where you've saved it and just chuck it in there like that. You're going to want to free transform again, so edit free transform and move around to where you want to go. Remember, whenever you scale your image, whenever you want to change the size of it, hold shift every single time, otherwise it makes it look disgusting. So I'm just going to chuck them in the corner there. Alright, so once you've got your character to the right spot and the right size where you want it to be, you're going to go down once to layer 1, the background image, and you're going to want to go new layer, click this little button here. Once you've done that, you're going to click on your brush tool right here, go to setting up where it says 50, check it on 200, put the diameter to like the biggest, 999 and hardness to 100. And you are going to want to use the same colour as the Mary Marauder skin, or whatever skin you're using. So for me, with the Mary Marauder skin, I'm going to go down here and select the uh, main colour. I sometimes like to just... You can either manually change, uh, choose the colour, sorry. Or you can select it off of here. Now, probably going to go with a light brownish colour, maybe. Maybe a bit lighter than that. Yeah, something like that. You're going to want to select the entire screen with the, the colour and then go on to the selected layer and select toggle layer settings. You're going to want to move it down to about 50. I say maybe 50 too much. Around about 45 or 50. It's whatever you really want it to be. Nothing too much, otherwise, it'll make it look ugly. Probably say 40 is fine because it's kind of a darker color. Alright, so once you've done this and made the background image the uh, same color or 
somewhat the same colour as your skin, and lower the opacity to around, I'd say, 30 to 60. The next thing you're going to want to do is select layer 2, your PNG image, get off the brush. You're going to want to select the type tool, I'm getting muddled up with my words. Select the type tool so you can get your font that you desire for the video. So I just sorted my words that I'm going to use, I'm going to type in highest kill game. Just something simple, because I can't be bothered. Alright, so once you've got your font, uh, not font, once you've got your text that you want to use, change it to white. Change the size to, damn it's a bit big. <laughs> change it to nearly max. And you're going to want to download this font right here. Where is it? Um, no, where's it gone? Alright, there it is. Burbank Big Condensed. This is the one that they use for the for the Fortnite, like the actual game font. And I'll leave a link down in the description. I'm actually gonna write a reminder for me right now to leave it in the description. So yeah, you're gonna wanna use Burbank Big Condensed. You're gonna wanna make it all caps. I can't believe I forgot that. All capitals. You're gonna wanna make it white. The font is Burbank Big Condensed. And what I'm actually going to do is, since I want highest kill game, I'm going to put a game underneath it. I'm actually going to duplicate the layer. It's going to come up with a copy. I'm going to double click on the name. And then type in game. Because that's what it's going to say. And then it'll be duplicated right, right onto it. So you want to grab that. Click on it with the font tool. Let's change the font. Whenever you want to change the font, just go back to your type tool and then you can change it and type in game or whatever you want to type in for your thumbnail all right it's gonna be a really basic thumbnail literally just highest kill game with a fortnite character on the side but this is better than having no thumbnails all right so now that we've got the text that we want on the screen i'm actually gonna go click onto our font and go rasterize layer do that for both of them all right so what this is going to do is we're going to make our font obviously a bit smaller and make it a little bit rough around the edges, I don't know why it does that. Uh, but we're going to go edit free transform and now we can make our things as big and ugly as we want. Go edit free transform and then just hold shift when you're moving it. So that's a bit too big. Probably make it there. Then I'll go back into the game. Alright, so now we get into the tutorial. The fun part of the tutorial, now that we've got our text, we've got our background image, we've got everything like that, we want to make the text look nice, because the white, f uh, the white color on the, the font text, whatever, it looks ugly, so we're going to change that by clicking on highest kill, clicking on our text, we're going to go to the gradient tool, there it is, alright, we're going to go to the gradient tool, and select any one of these, it really doesn't matter, I'd probably just select this one because it's closest to the, the colours that we're going to use anyway. Remove the middle one, so there's just one at the start and one at the end. What we're going to do is, it depends what colour you want, but the gradient adds, we can actually just show you right here, if I click off, oh shit, you want to select the pixels, don't forget about that, edit, select pixels, as you can see it's selected. So now we move it, look at that, I mean, the, the colours are ugly, you get the point of the gradient, it adds two different colours that slowly fade into each other. We're going to change our colours to kind of match with the theme of the background. I'm just going to go with the simple orange and yellow that literally everyone goes with. So I'm going to make this the darker colour, probably go around here, take it back a bit, so there, that looks good. Probably turn it down here. And then we want to go to the yellow and make this an extra bright Bright, bright, bright yellow. Alright, so that's a nice bright yellow. So now we have darker orange. It's kind of an, a murky orange. I don't really like the look of it right now. Once you've done that, you've got your two colours that you like the look of. You're going to select pixels, so it's going to be selected. And you're going to go up or down. But you can do it either way. You can go from left to right, like that. Right to left. You can go from the top, darker, down to the bottom, being lighter. I prefer to go like this. Alright, so this is like average, but we're just going to work with it anyway. Highest kill game, and I'm probably going to make the, the font for the game the same, but maybe a little bit brighter, so you know, it kind of sticks out. So I'm actually just going to go onto game, select pixels, 
then I'm gonna use the same gradient but make this a little bit brighter and I'll probably just keep it to that yeah I like the look of that alright so that looks pretty good right there so you can just fiddle around with the gradient until you find something you like once you've finished with the gradient and you've got the right color for the, the text deselect all it's looking pretty nice right there if you've got two layers for your fonts, like I do highest kill and in game, you're going to want to click on the top one and then just select merge down. So you're going to right click and then select merge down. Where's she gone? Go back to the top. Make sure your font's always at the top. So now the highest kill and the game is stuck together. So if I move it around, it moves together. Just control Z to backspace. Uh, we're going to right click on that and we're going to go layer styles. This is where you really want to fiddle around with these settings to make it look nice because without them it, the font doesn't stick out enough it's just it's just there it doesn't have a background so you're going to add an outer glow you're going to want to make the outer glow color black uh, well I mean you can make it to whatever you want but black is probably the best make the opacity 100 hardness I like to go 5 maybe like a size 20 maybe that's a bit too big mm. I don't know. Fifth, oh Jesus! Make the hardness five, or something around about there. Just got like twenty or something. So it makes a nice black outer glow. And the other thing you want to do is add a drop shadow. That actually looks fine as it is. I don't feel like I need to change that. So we can just leave that. I mean, just fit around with the settings. All right. So once we've done that, we've got our background image. We've got the Fortnite character skin there. Whatever you've got the text there. You've got the colors on it. You've got the gradient. Once you've done that, you want to make a new layer just above the colors of the background. Maybe you can turn this down a little bit. I feel like it's a bit too bright. Alright, so you're going to want to click on your background color image thing and click new layer. So it is up above this, but below your your uh, type, below your text, sorry, and your character here. Alright, you're going to want to click on layer 6. You're going to want to go open images layer and... You can add something. I'm gonna add a Fortnite skull kill counter. That is too big. So I'm gonna go free transform and make it the size that I want. Imagine you just thought of an idea on the spot. I'm gonna replace the Mary Marauder's head with the Fortnite skull icon thing. So I'm gonna save image. Actually bring this above that. And then edit it here. So I'm actually gonna make another layer on top of this actually no delete that layer I'm gonna make another layer on top of our background color open image as layer anime speed lines <laughs> you see ninja and stuff using this in the pummy in the thumbnails so I'm gonna free transform it and make it the size that I want it to be <clears throat> pummy probably something like that I'm actually going to turn down the opacity so it's not so noticeable. Yeah, I'll leave a link in the description for this. Alright, so yeah, there's one last thing you can do to make your thumbnail uh, top notch. You're going to go below... What layer am I going to go below? You're going to make an outline around your character skin. So, probably go the layer 6. Yeah, I'm just going to go layer 6. And you're going to go onto your brush tool, like we did last time, probably go about 200, make the hardness 20, I'm just going to go 25. Uh, that's way too big. Chuck the diameter down to 200, like I first clicked on. Alright, so make your diameter 200, hardness 25. It should be alright, see how I'm like, colouring around my guy, making him more like, making him more there. Alright, so I'm going to change the colour for this brush tool though, because it looks ugly. So I'm going to make it a, more of a silvery white. Just a little bit less bright of a white. Just to go around the guy. Probably make it even darker. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, so once you've done that, I'm actually going to change the diameter to like 150, maybe? Yeah. But I'm also going to make the hardness less. I think 150 with like a hardness of 25 going back to my original is probably fine. So you're going to draw around your character. Just probably draw on the inside. Don't go like this. Like around him. That just looks ugly. I'm going to go a little bit around the outside. 
and just stay in. Gives him a little bit of that outer glow. Alright, so yeah, it doesn't really do much going around your character, but it kind of just like focuses him a little bit. Um, that is probably it. You're gonna go Kyle and save. Gonna name it. Just name it whatever. Fortnite thumbnail finished. Highest kill game yet. I mean, you're gonna make the quality 100 and just keep it JPEG. Uh, once you save that, yeet it in there. That is pretty much it. That is your thumbnail right there. We can go have a look at it. Should be in here. So, hopefully this tutorial wasn't too confusing. I've been using Pixar for a few weeks now, and I kind of got the hang of, it, hang of it. So I wanted to make a tutorial on it, because I know that it's free, and it's a big use for people that can't pay for apps like Photoshop and whatnot. So yeah, hopefully this video isn't too long, hopefully it isn't too confusing, and if you did enjoy the video or found it useful, comment down below and leave a like, I appreciate it, uh, and subscribe. We have 1.03k subs, so that is pretty good, I'm thankful for everyone. Alright, thanks for watching the video, I'll see you in the next one, peace out. So they think